welcome to adapting class and thank you for deciding to watch this video i created this question and a lot of people want me to explain it sometimes when you see anchor's question try to step back don't jump the gap read the question read between the line you know how i answer question read from the back look for the buzzwords stick with the buzzwords incredibly think by being sharp, right? There's a concept question. If you don't know the concept question, then you should master it. Try, I have a video on this. I've done this multiple times. People who don't teach this topic, I try to teach it. And I have a bunch of video talking about this problem. If you don't know it, I'll give you the concept. What is the next priority action? That's the first thing. That means I have to be sharp. I have to pick something that is not going to kill the patient. And that's my prioritization right away. What is the problem? Platelet count is 90. Bass weights, right? And this is caring for a client. He has pulmonary embolism. And the patient is on heparin drip. Now, I've underlined the bass weight. PE, heparin, heparin drip, platelet is now 50,000, 90,000. What is my priority? If it's, you have PE, we put you on heparin so that you don't develop new clots, right? We stabilize whatever clots you have and we break whatever you have. It doesn't bust it too much, but it stabilizes, it prevent better clot formation. What is the biggest problem with heparin? It does not like platelet. Heparin and platelets are enemy. If I put you on heparin right now, the platelet is going to drop. If you continue to drop after four days or 50% of your heparin, uh, your platelet drop, this is what we call heparin induced thrombocytopenia. How does it happen? It's because you make antibodies against the platelets and you destroy them. What is the biggest problem of this? It's clot formation, no bleeding. And therefore, if somebody develop heparin induced thrombocytopenia, they're more likely to form clot, no bleeding. If somebody tell you otherwise, it's wrong. More likely to form clot and the clot bedding will increase your PE is going to increase. You're going to get more stroke. You're going to get more DVT, right? Even though we put you on heparin, now you've developed heparin-induced thrombocytopenia and you're forming more clot. We have a problem. What should be the priority action based on that concept? If you decrease heparin, it's a wrong answer. As soon as you develop heparin induced thrombocytopenia, you should never test any heparin. Patient should not receive any single heparin. Even some of the IV tubings may have heparin impregnated. When you see a question like that, that is key. Stop all heparin, including heparin in impregnated what? Uh, uh, IV tubing. Decreasing heparin is the wrong answer. If you change the heparin to enozaparin, look at the last word, even if you don't know. Right? P A R N. P A R N. Pharmacology. This is the same. Enozo, enozaparin. Heparin. Heparin, enozaparin is the same thing. They are all heparin. But this is a lower molecular weight heparin. It's still an heparin. You should never receive any more heparin. Therefore, this is good. Language, this is where they come to test taking strategy. Holding the heparin is not enough. The patient is going to develop DVT clot, right? They should not even hold it when scientifically. Or uh, in medicine, when we say hold something, that means I'm ready to prepare to give you later if something happens, right? When you're in heparin, your PTT 
is very high, we usually hold it, right? And if I hold some medication from you, that means later on, I may give it to you, right? The potassium is no high, it's high, and I have to give you a potassium medication, I'm going to hold it. There is anticipation of holding the heparin, of giving it back to the patient. In this situation, holding the heparin is not the priority. We still have to treat you for pulmonary embolism. We still have to take care of the heparin induced tobocytopenia and forming clot. Giving them factor 10 direct inhibitor is the best choice. That means we're ready. We know what that this answer choice tell me you understand what you think is going on. You understand is heparin induced thrombocytopenia. You understand we should not waste time too much. And we understand that we got to start some medication. If I put stop the heparin right away, yes. And I bet you if I put stop the heparin, I will not put this one there. Or even if it's there, I will still stop the heparin. Stopping heparin is much better than holding the heparin. The question say priority action. Holding the heparin is not a priority. It's by preventing further embolism, further thrombosis. It's, this is what is going to kill the patient more. Therefore, I'm going to anticipate prescription for reposaparin as much as possible to prevent subsequent clot formation while we figure out what is going on. We should stop the heparin check some labs, do neuro checks, and then start this medication. This is the way it flow. Stop heparin, check labs, do assessment, and then put the patient on direct factor 10 inhibitor. Those are the Zabats. Stop heparin, check labs, some labs, neurological examination, and then give them another form of anticoagulation. This is the end of it. Thank you. Bye-bye.